I'm down in the valley on business, but while I'm down here, I thought we'd stop by at this little place called Madeira Fossil Museum. It's gonna be fun. There's going to be bones and lots of old dead things. <laughs> here we go. In 1993, an incredible discovery was found at Fairmead Landfill. The landfill was expanding when a worker found discoloration in the soil. Coincidentally, this was the year that the movie Jurassic Park was released, so awareness was high. When an eight-foot mammoth tusk was uncovered, the earth removal ceased. Upon entering, you are treated to a five-minute video. And then you're free to roam around as you wish. There are plenty of little bits and pieces in display cases, but I'm here to see the big boys. The Colombian mammoth existed in North America, ranging from northern United States to as far south as Costa Rica. It was one of the last in line of the mammoth species. I would not want to run into one of these. And of course, they have skulls everywhere. Here we have the largest breed of bear ever, the giant short-faced bear, larger than the largest polar bear on record in modern times. This is a flat-faced bear. A flat-faced bear. Too big, too scary. And what would an exhibit of this era be without a dire wolf? Or a saber-toothed cat? And that's the tooth behind my hand. Researchers have identified three species of horse that inhabited North America's western interior during the years of the Pleistocene Age, until their extinction. And yes, we had camels. And meet the giant hairy and ground sloth. He's big. But what about dinosaurs? Yep, got them too. It was an Allosaurus skull. It was a member of the Velociraptor and Tyrannosaurus rex family, but lived many years before them. And a Mosasaur, which was a marine reptile. Yikes! I fully enjoyed my time here at the Fossil Discovery Center of Madera County, but now, for me, it's time to head home. <laughs>